Hi. Hi, it is 10 to 9 in the morning of Thursday the 5th of September and, and it is time, time for Day in my Bujo no. Day in my Bujo So how are you? So how are you? Are you alright? Are you alright? I hope so um, I had family drama yesterday, which is why there was no vlog. Um, those of you that are regulars know we're what gonna was going on. We're going to do the fence today. We're going to do the fence today. We were going to do it yesterday, but I got up in the morning and it was raining and my handyman called off. Oh, we've got some um, auto-focusing going on here. Hang on just a second while I pack that up. I'll have all that rubbish going on, can we? Let's turn that off. Hmm? <laughs> and there you go sorry about that um yeah and uh, yeah he cried off at half seven in the morning even though by 9 a.m it had all stopped and the sun had come out and he just said no no cancel today i was like well that's fucking good isn't it so that was a day wasted and um it went downhill from there okay let's just leave it at that so could you stop pulling my chair please right go finish your breakfast Mwah. Go on, go finish your breakfast. Daddy. Go on. So today is the fifth. I did um, catch up in my journal yesterday. So there we go, we have done that bit. I didn't pull a card yesterday. Like I said, it just it went downhill pretty quick. I did my pain and my mood tracker. Okay, um, I'm behind on my steps because I came in here last thing at night to do it and I'd already taken my phone upstairs so I shall grab yesterday's pen uh, the third's pen oh. <laughs> I'm not awake yet let's wait for my Fitbit to wake up it's just a blank screen <laughs> Hello. Yeah, there we go. Oh, piss off with your new attitude. I must ask Fitbit how the hell you stop that happening. Right. So twelve thousand two hundred and thirteen. Cause that every day or every couple of days you get this message pop up, all inspirational and shit. And I'm like, fuck off with your inspirational bollocks. I'm not interested. We do yesterday's, which was 13,574. Oh, it now gives you a, a, a sleep score on this as to whether it thinks you had a good sleep or not. 12.45 until 8.30. Well, actually, it was probably more like about 7.45, really. I was just lying in bed. I did a few chores yesterday. Yeah, the um, the live and the fence got put off yesterday. I have not yet set up the weekend. I'll have to do that in a sec. Um, yeah, it's one of those days. Oh, Tara's got school tomorrow. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, at least I will uh, get done. I received a couple of post crossings postcards yesterday which went in and then I journaled it was a bad day yesterday a lot of shit happened and yeah we're not going to talk about that so just change the pen okay so far today I haven't done anything I'm still sitting in my pyjamas just pull a card I don't really want to got some weeding done yesterday that was good I told you to go and eat your breakfast. Go on, please. I did not want no more. Right, well, you're not having anything else now until lunchtime. No bread, no crisps, nothing until I decide it's lunchtime. Got it? Right. Whole bowl of multi-green hoops just gone out the fucking window because he asked for them and then doesn't eat them. Not in the mood for this crap at the moment. And 
Yeah, well, that's appropriate. Worrying about money. That's what this card is about. Um, you see this witch is sat there wondering how they're going to cope in the future without money when actually, you know, with a little bit of budgeting. Daryl, could you stop, please? Could you stop, please? Thank you. Um, when in actuality, there is probably enough because... Uh, where maybe you were spent this is relating to me okay um alex moved out yesterday um during a big family argument so while i am worrying about how will i cope without his contribution um i'll probably cope because i'll be buying less food i'll be paying a lot less in the way of electricity um and you know it should, hopefully it'll balance out so we'll see <laughs> Put worrying about money but i've probably got enough with some careful budgeting that's what it comes down to careful budgeting daryl could you stop please nanny beer in a minute okay um oh, can't do that now so let me quickly <coughs> fill in that I haven't done anything yet. I've literally have just got up. I've still got a full cup of tea next to me. So, so hopefully we'll be getting on with the fence today. Um, I'll set up the weekend in a minute. With what? The fence? Mm, we'll see. Probably not because it's going to be hard. Will it fall? No, we're going to put a new one in. We opened the Lolo fence. In. It's a, it's a fence door. It's okay. gonna be in the middle. Yeah, the gate. It's gonna. Well, I'll show you where the gate's gonna be in a bit. Okay. <coughs> Ow! That hurts. Could you let go, please? I wanted some heart. Why don't you go upstairs? I think your shorts are on the floor in your bedroom. Go and get them on. There you go. I'm going to go and get on with the day and I will see you in the evening edition. Hi. Hi. We just cut in my hair. We did. We cut it. Hang on. Let's let's make you all big so everybody can see how gorgeous you are. <laughs> there we go. We uh, cut his hair. And Tim Flair. And he's had a bath and he's had his nails cut. And his uniform is all ready for school tomorrow. Yay! And, and we will probably come online when we get home tomorrow to tell you what it was all like because it should be very exciting. And but I want to take two floors. You can't take two floors to school. Go on, off you go. Go and watch film. Go on. I'm watching Hunting Dragon 1. Mm -hmm. Go on then, go and watch it. There's movies. Yeah, go on then. Off you go. Oh, Archie Nino. Oh, Archie Nino. So, <laughs> so um, due to the fact that it is 6.45 and I don't know how easily I'm going to get him to sleep, I thought I'd come on and do this now. As you can see, I've had a delivery of a few bits and bobs. I have yesterday, well, actually a couple of days ago, I had this turn up. April recommended I try a Jin Hao um, fountain pen. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I was going to do a review on it, but quite frankly, couldn't be bothered. It was short and sweet. Basically, um, it's an okay pen. That's, you know, I'm not majorly in love with it. I will use it, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> and then I bought two more of, um, you guys all should all know by now that this is my favourite, favourite fountain pen. I love this pen. And um, I bought a couple more. I bought one in a sort of ready version of that green, which is stunning. And then I bought a solid version of that, like that, which I think looks amazing. The only thing I don't like is that I can't tell which end. Oh, well, the screw end is the base, isn't it? Of course it is. 
so there you go just looking at the pretty scroll work on the on the um, nibs funny thing is oh no I thought mine was a silver nib but it's not that's a gold one so I'm gonna fill each of these up um, I've got some noodlers ink here some in grey and another one in uh, another colour which I can't pronounce but I think this is like a bluey black I'm not sure I bought this from the same seller and they arrived Scritique is that? Scutique, Scutique. I don't know. I'm not. I actually can't even remember what colour this is. Is it a teal? Or is it a blue or black? It's written there in a sort of teal colour. Let's have a look and compare it with the grey. I wasn't expecting that to be a glass bottle. I thought it was a refill bottle. And I see this has got a different um, label on it. And it says, then this is Lexington grey. So I'm thinking I'm going to put the Lexington Grey in the first pen that I showed you. And then we'll um, put the other one in the other pen and go from there. I also bought a name stamp for Daryl to stamp his clothes with. And that, that's a wee stamp and a little bit of ink or an ink pad. So that was all very, very good. And funnily enough, the ink, I think it was, came with a Tombow um, leaflet. So I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So I need to stamp all of Daryl's clothes tomorrow. Right, let me start from the beginning. Okay. I don't even know if this is today's pen or yesterday's pen. This is today's pen, I think. Yeah, this is today's pen. Okay. So I will day face cream. I'm going to do the challenges for both days in a sec. I haven't decided whether I'm going to have a drink in a bit or not. Celebrate Daryl going back to school tomorrow. <laughs> but I've definitely had, um, I haven't had any caffeine. Um, I haven't had any chips. And I haven't crafted yet, but I do plan on getting my spinning wheel out in a bit because I had a lovely bundle of fibre gum from a friend of mine who dyes fibre. And... Um, I just can't decide whether to use my wheel or to get the spindle out and try it but then I'm like if I start it I might not want to finish it and I've already got a project on my wheel but I do have an empty spindle so I'm kind of like mmm so I need to put about today oh god that's been shit my handyman I went down the road today I've just watered the garden to pick up a petrol powered hole digger for posts this thing looks like a giant corkscrew no way to lie the the corkscrew part of it is fucking massive and the idea you turn it on and it works a bit like a jackhammer and it twists into the ground and it digs you a hole which you then put your fence post in and fill with concrete fantastic so i goes down the road and hires that which i actually had on hire for yesterday but um due to the minuscule amount of rain we had yesterday the handyman ian his name is didn't turn up so I was like, oh. Even though I messaged him and said, mm, it's no longer raining. He went, no, no, not coming. <sighs> so then this morning I thought, well, you know, he'll, he'll be along today. Um, so I went down the road and picked up this behemoth corkscrew. And... Um, it home and sat there and sat there and sat there and sat there and at midday I took the behemoth cork screw back to the higher place who very nicely did not charge me for the use of it because they they knew I hadn't had it long enough to do anything with it was still clean and none of the petrol had been used um, yeah he just cancelled my order which is they are so cool down there um, yeah and I have not heard from Ian at all all day no apology no excuse no i'm sorry i am not coming or anything like that so he's fucked his employment with me as far as i'm concerned 
even if there's an excuse, the message was delivered. He could have sent me a message in the middle of the night saying, look, dude, I cannot make it tomorrow or whatever. We communicate via Facebook Messenger. I don't have his phone number. He doesn't have mine. I didn't really want to give the dude my phone number. Um, yeah. So I'm like, wow, thanks for that, you fucking prick. I'm furious, absolutely furious. So yeah, I had another day wasted. So I actually wasn't wasted because I spent this afternoon, well, lunchtime-ish, like I say, getting Daryl ready for school, cut his hair. Um, I did that, so I'm quite pleased how, pardon me, how it turned out. I cooked a bolognese, pasta bolognese for us, and Carl joined us, my eldest. Um, put Daryl in the bath, got more clean, cut his nails, <laughs> cut his toenails, his fingernails. Basically tried to make him not look as feral, feral as he has been all summer. I think I might have cracked it. Right, we are on Thursday. I cleaned the loo this morning. I did some laundry. I did the banister and the bathroom. The dishwasher's been on about three times now. Just got to do the rest of it. I think I might have a bath in a wee while. I have cut Daryl's hair. I've got stamped clothes. It's only for like 90 minutes, but he's got to go in uniform and all that lot. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited for him. I am really, really excited. These went wonky after I put them in yesterday. I'm a bit annoyed that I just can't seem to stick postcards in very well at the moment. I'm just like, I give up. So yes, I need to write, um, oops, the um, last two words. I should have printed them up really, but they're on my phone somewhere. Let's have a look, see if I can find them. <laughs> Trouble is, I keep um, pulling over the photos from my camera onto my phone, which then makes everything like vanish. Um, challenges, there we go. So it's that one. So I need to try four and acorns. There isn't anywhere I can write that. I'm gonna catch up on some TV tonight. But I've not had a chance to watch. So one thing and another. I've got to finish watching Manifest because I haven't actually watched all of that. I was watching it with Alex. And uh, we sort of stopped with a couple of episodes left. So that's another reason why I'm doing this, because I want to get this done and uploaded for you guys. And I'm just going to sit in the other room with my wheel and not worry about the day. You know, that feeling that I'm needing to do something or anything like that. It has been a shit week again, guys. Um, yeah, a shit week. I could have done without it, really. Right, I'm going to put acorns on the next page because I will be journaling, obviously, a bit more than just that little bit. too bad I'm one of those people that I don't like you know the flourishing and all that lot. I haven't got the confidence with it <laughs> so so what we need to do is erase that because this is where I had to be started by and I just sort of left myself some pencil notes. so should we fill up one of my pens let's fill up the gorgeous one with the grey this one now to fill up one of these you can use the little pipette. You can use a um, syringe, a filling syringe. Christ almighty! That is full to bursting. Wow! I honestly God, wasn't expecting that. All you do is you unscrew it and you fill up the button and that's it. That is literally it. 
That, I, Christ, I wasn't expecting that to be that full. We need about four squeezes of the, um, the, um, the pipette that they send you. I can't think of the word that I want for that. And then you carefully, not over your bujo, screw that back down. It's a bit spoogy because I slightly overfilled it. And put your fucking lid back on that. I can't believe how full that is. That is like to the brim. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going? What a gorgeous colour. Mm -hmm. Right, go on then, off you go. Go huh? Go on, go and watch your film. Because I want to see what it's right like. That was me. I know that one, you. And what's behind? Go on, please. I look like a monitor. Oh, what a gorgeous colour. That colour would be awesome on tea dyed and coffee dyed paper for that sort of old look um right let me grab the focusy thing and i'll get it in focus for you i mean look how gorgeous that is i would love to do some of that on um some some dyed paper because i just think that color would look absolutely fantastic Tomorrow I will try the other ink. I will fill that in in a minute. But um, yeah, look, <laughs> look at this. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I can't believe how chunky it looks. I love it. It's because my postcards tend to turn up like two at a time, and then I've, I've got to stick them in. I could stick one in every single day at this rate, you know. But um, yeah. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it really. I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'm very, very tired and it's been bloody awful really this week. But there you go. These things are sent to try us. The thing that I do like about these is they are stiff to undo from the thing and it seems to twist forever. There's like a little rubber bung on it there. Let's try this one. Oh. Wow, shit, that one. Oh, that's a really dark deal colour. That one's fucking full as well. That's this incredible. I've never had ink turn up and be that full. Oh, what a beautiful colour. Personally, I would just grab a syringe in future and do this. Um, because it's a pain in the ass using a syringe uh, a dropper at least the syringe goes all in one go now I already have a teal couple of teal inks so it'll be interesting to see it was for flush and the justice was back to work was it yeah how this compares okay so how did the dentist do it I'm gonna do on a notebook not on my tomboy so I have, I have my original mini pen and this is a this is a gorgeous colour. I love this colour. It's it's blue with a hint of sort of blacker in it. Then I've got my Twisby. Now this is I'll grab out all the inks in a sec. My Twisby is this ink, this Iroshizuku, and the colour name is Kujaku. I think it stands for peacock or something like that. This is a pilot ink, all right? It's quite a large bottle of ink. It's quite, it's quite cool. I like it. This is what is in the mini fountain pen. Um, it is listed down below what it's called. I can't remember. It's a horror snow or something like that. I had to buy this and have it sent to somebody in the US who was coming here on holiday and she actually carried it across for me. And that was last summer and I've used it on a regular basis since then. It's really hard to see. I think the glass is black, so it doesn't help. 
Yeah, I'm not even down to the top of the label yet, so I've got quite a little while yet before I run out. But then I'm going to be like, oh, what am I going to do? Because I love this colour. So let's see what this new pen is. This is Noodler's Ink in that... I don't even know how you pronounce that. Oh, it's another dark one. Oh, it's more green. Oh, wow. That's green. Oh, that's fab. Like it. I just want to buy all Noodler's inks now because I love the fact that they are so chocker full. I don't know where I'm going to put it because it's not going to fit and I don't want to lie it down. I'm going to have to find little homes for these, I think. Because my ink lives in, I've got a set of rainbow drawers just here. And um, the drawers are that thick. And that is not going to fit, I don't think. Let's just try it. There is stuff in the way. No, it is just not gonna fit. So I think it might be time to find a new home for my inks. I've still got this diamine ink. I've got a glass pen coming to try with this from Ali. So God knows when that's gonna arrive. Hmm. I shall have to find a home for it. Oh, I've got drawers under here I could use. Yes, I might put it in there. So I'll keep all my spare pocket paper and stuff. It would actually make getting my ink out a lot easier if it was all in one drawer. And just in case you're wondering, I put Caribbean Blue in the Jin Hao pen. And that wrote like this. It's a very, very pale blue. I did not find the nib to be super duper fine. And I used Purple Rain in my Monteverdi uh, retro pop pen thing. That one. Um... Yeah, I did not find the Jin Hao to be super, super fine. It writes okay, but, you know, like I said, I'm not... It was a cheap pen, so, you know. I'm going to have to tidy this drawer up. If I'm putting all my ink bottles in here. This is a junk drawer full of... Well, junk, funnily enough. But it's a lot deeper <laughs> than, um, than my other ones. I've got a jar in here with stuff. I'm going. I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below because we love comments. You know we do. Um, if you click the book in the corner there, you will be subscribed. And if you hit the bell that appears down below, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. Sorry it was a bit batshit, but you know how it goes. Um, I will be back tomorrow, Friday, in some way, shape or form after Daryl has his first session in big school. We'll let you know how it goes. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time. Take it easy guys. <laughs>